There's been times in my life that I've hit really low spots and kind of looked at cheerleading as a place to go and just forget everything else. When I started cheerleading, I was, you know, this guy who did gymnastics his whole life. I was the only older guy in the gym, so I kept to myself a lot. You know what it's done? It's actually made me a lot more confident. If I did quit cheerleading, I really don't know what I would do without it. My name is Zachary Bethel, I'm 16 years old and I've been cheering for nine years. Most people think that it's a female based sport and oh you're a cheerleader, oh that's awesome if you're a girl. But then when you tell them that you're a guy cheerleader they kind of like look at you funny for a minute and think oh why are you doing that, like are you doing it for the girls and they just different questions go through their brain. A lot of stereotypes people have with us is that all of us are gay or are in it for the girls. Multiple people come up and ask me um, different questions about cheer. Number one being, why would I have joined? At the age I joined at, I was not interested in girls. I was completely interested in just doing something that I love to do and really working hard for something. So I guess I was going into my grade 11 year um, and you know when we're in grade 9 and grade 10 you go through this phase where you're now in high school and you think you're a badass and you wear the bandana and the baggy pants and all that stuff. So the group of guys I was hanging out with at that point, they, uh, I guess they weren't the best influence on me at the time. Um, I was getting into a little bit of trouble kind of at home and at school and stuff like that. And uh, I guess when I started cheerleading kind of opened me up to a whole new organization of people kind of thing. Um, and when people talk about the cheer world, like it's definitely a thing. Like everyone knows each other and people, you know, they relate and they understand like what goes on. It gets a little bit stressful around competition time. We harp down on them a lot about showing up to practice and everything. And when they get to the competition, the last thing they want to do is let their team down, let their coaches down, let their parents down, I guess. So kids get really stressed out about that kind of stuff. I've been blessed that I've I'm a very confident person and I train my skills hard because as much as you train and as much as you perfect your skills, there's always times where things can go wrong or shit happens really. Over the past years, it's kind of been an emotional toll. The image that all the male cheerleaders have like the somewhat skinnier six pack jacked person and that isn't me. But really at the end of the day you need to work with what you have and make make it work. <laughs> Whenever I tell people that I'm a cheerleader or that I work at a cheerleading club, I wait for their answer or their, rep their response because normally it's like a, what? Like, you, you do what? You're a cheerleader? And then I gotta kinda go into depth about like what it is. I have heard some things of like a younger guy in the gym get a little bit bullied at school 
there was a guy, he was on our senior three team a couple years ago who really enjoyed being here, but his friends kind of wouldn't let him live it down that he was a cheerleader. So the next year he quit kind of thing. Um, I don't think girls have to explain themselves when they say they're a cheerleader, but guys do, so. I've had times where I've almost quit because of bullying and situations like that where people think, oh, he's the only guy and he's probably gay or something on that kind of lines. <laughs> years past I've been the only male and that's been rough because sometimes you'll go into practice and they'll be talking about whatever girls talk about at that age and I'll just kind of stand back and really remember that I'm here to do the sport. I drive from Barrie every day an hour and a half to come here to practice and even if it's just for a couple hours or an hour all that time adds up and then with the drive it's adds up to a lot of time. So I've been so dedicated for the sport for years that I want to keep going forward and I never want it to end. I want it to be a career maybe when I'm older. I want to push the sport so that it makes it into the Olympics. Cheerleading's made me outgoing, it's made me spontaneous, it makes me talk better with people and communicate better. It's given me respect over coaches because if you don't respect your coach then they won't respect you. I think cheerleading has definitely impacted my life thoroughly, especially now that I am coaching and doing this as one of my primary jobs. As an athlete you just kind of see the the work of your team and the other teams in the gym. It's going to grow more and the more males that get into it now are going to influence their friends and say, oh yeah, wow, that looks really cool. You can do this backflip. I want to learn this backflip, so I'm going to come and join. And then it's just going to hopefully grow and grow and become even bigger all around the world. On a hockey team, you can play as an individual and still do really, really well. On a cheerleading team, you all have to have a certain relationship and a certain bond with each other for it to work the way you want it to. All the other guys on my team are definitely like brothers to me. They wouldn't be anything less than that. If any of them ever were in trouble or anything like that, I would for sure take care of them. Their family, that's what they are. family's family and you love them.